chat. What's going on? <laughs> I never thought I'd be in this position, but yeah, here I am. Hear me. My name's Kaz. I'm the Kaz man. Um, speaking from my point of view and trying to tell you how it is, I mean, a disabled student in university, I mean, it's not unheard of, but for me, in my life, it is unheard of. I'm ne like, I never thought I'd be here doing my thing or whatever, but like, on the side of this, I make music as well. I don't call it rapping, I call it musical poetry. And through my musical poetry, I've done so much. I've performed City Hall, Islington Town Hall, I've got my name in a flyer. Like, I've done so much with my music and overcome so many obstacles and remained in education at the same time. So it just proves to you that anybody can do it. I'm proud of myself. Um, I've got a Swift 16 part, which will tell you like how my life is, like how it is from then to now. Check it. <clears throat> My life began when I started going to college, me and you, people and gaining new knowledge. I finished the course and done the next year, and during the same time, I got a job there. Now people were saying, look at his ability, I've got better awards, and even a magazine, I come out of college with a smile on my face. Then I started going to union in a faraway place, and at the start of the year, things were all right. Then it got to a point where things were not right, so I sparked up a cigarette and checked on the internet. About getting separate, of course, in London, man. but on the flip side, if you look at my life, it's come to a point where things are all right. My yard looks nice and I feel all right. I'm down with the MS, I still get by. Yeah, me? I do my thing. Alright, yeah. So, um, check this. You thought, people thought I was chatting crap, yeah? You might have thought I was chatting crap because when I said, yeah, I've got a magazine and web. Check this shit. Oh, Yemi, nomination for leading learner of the year at the college, doing the thing or whatever. And I'm still here. Glad this ain't nothing to me, because at the end of the day, you got to live your life the way you got to live it. And that's how I live my life, because at the end of the day, it's like, uh, I ain't watching no one. Why, why, why try and be someone else when you can be yourself? And that's real. You hear me? I, um, basically, as well, on another subject, um, when I was 15, I was taken into care. Um, I went to a boarding school in Somerset. Um, at first, it was hard because like my family went around, I was used to having like, my mum, my brother, my sister, my dad all around me and stuff. Then I had to make it on my own and start doing things, started to find myself and stuff. Um, if I remember this lyric, check it. It was the first song that I ever wrote. It's called Doing It. Um, but the lyric from that goes, um, when I was 15, that's when it started. When I left my mom's house, I was so broken hearted. I was in Somerset and I couldn't bear it. And I was crying and I was in front of some garlics. But I had to live my life and move on. No longer was my mom around to solve my problems. Never felt whole because a part of me had gone. So for a while, I put myself on stop. Well, I picked it up though, at first it was slow. After I got used to it, I started busting jokes. Even though I was smiling, I still missed home. But, but I kept in touch when I had my phone. Phoning my mum and telling her I missed her. Telling when I get back and hug and I kiss her. I, I say, how's it going with my brother and my sister? And, and say to my dad, yo, I do miss ya. I went back to school, but man, it wasn't easy. People took the piss because I was easy. Easy guy, no wish I never spoke freely. And as a result, I didn't get good GCSEs. Okay. So, um, I read a magazine one time from the MS Society, it was saying that um, everyone with MS defines their months or they need to wait at them or whatever. Like, <laughs> to be honest, I define mine myself. I've done everything myself. I've defined it myself. So I've defined this MS that I've got as a split. Like, you've got the right side, which is the good side, and you've got the left side, which is the bad side. But uh, at the end of the day, I can't get uni, but I'm dealing with the whole thing. But listen to the words of this song, you know what I mean? I call it split, because that's how I feel, feel myself. So, um, yeah, when you're ready, fam, check it. 
Yo, I can't get in my head, man. I swear that. I mean, like, seriously, left and right? What well, I want? I got too much food for your thoughts on my plate, saw me on the road. You think you're always being brave, it's like I got a heavyweight clinging on to my brain. I got voices in my head screaming out. I can't really help it if I am who I be. I'm just a guy living life, but I got more upon me. Not a lot of things like graves in the cemetery. Just one thing split like a berry jean. On the one side, I'm trying to do the right thing. I look to my left and all see a slight thing. I can't get uni, but I'm dealing with the whole thing. Drum so mad that I ain't making sense of this. So I'm trying to move forward, but I feel I'm going back. I'm sitting in my chair, think about Ryan Raps. Especially how I feel, trying to tell you how it is. If life was a song, this would be a bit of it. That's how it is when you feel like a split. And you're looking both ways, cause you know that the road is split. Which way to go? But this ain't my choice, cause I never chose. When you feel like a split. And you're looking both ways, cause you know that the road is split. Which way to go? But this ain't my choice, cause I never chose. I look to my left, all I see is the stress of a mess. Nothing left, I feel that it's set. So I'm trying to come quit, I'm trying to accept. But how would you cope if your sight's not in check? I ain't on no quest, I wanna see what happens there. Cause I live through my regrets, so there's no need to get upset. I'm testing like a mad check, it's burning like a cigarette, but I ain't feeling that bad. Weaker and weaker is how it's getting down I'm feeling lost, stone found, but it's getting stronger with the sound Of music I lose it when I'm getting into When I think of younger days, my left juice are dooting This whole left side's feeling kinda not From the bottom to the top is feeling in not I never said to come, but I'm never feeling stunned And I'm never staying still, cause my mind is always on the run When you feel like a split And you're looking both ways, cause you know that the road is split Which way to go? But this ain't my choice cause I never chose When you feel like you split And you look in both ways cause you know that the road split Which way to go? But this ain't my choice cause I never chose Now to my right, I'm seeing little life Things are gonna be alright So I'm working with the strong side People say I'm out of mind cause my mind you'll never find Do it for myself cause I ain't trying to be a left behind That's some real talking So I'm trying to do my thing without a feel of all green Besides getting bad, cause in here the warnings Plus beats me up when I'm feeling that I'm falling Been through the obstacles, come out the other side Challenges are right side, but facing them is in the mind So I wanna get ready, but don't feel I'm steady So I'll go with the flow Sometimes it's fast, but most times it's slow So I feel I wanna let go All this bad feeling that I'm up for their bro The more of the story is I'm trying to get stronger by taking risks that's how it is when you feel like a split And you're looking both ways cause you know that the road split Which way to go? Yo, I don't know But this ain't my choice cause I never chose When you feel like a split And you're looking both ways cause you know that the road split Which way to go? But this ain't my choice cause I never chose That was the definition of my MS Um and still on the parts where we're looking back, I'm thinking back in 2008, I was diagnosed with MS. Before then, things were happening, body was getting weaker, I was feeling weakness within my arms, within my legs, I was losing balance and everything. So I was smoking weed, it was getting, it was getting too much, but I was spending so much money, I mean, come on, man, like, Seven hundred pound on weed, fourteen hundred pound on weed. Yeah, you know I mean, and this was all in like respect of, well, not even respect, just like, just like thinking to myself, yeah, look, this is what will help me to escape reality. That's partially the reason why I got into education as well, to escape from the life I had indoors and wherever, the falls, the trips and wherever. But then it started following me, like, here, come to uni. Yeah, I had falls and trips. I ain't hurt myself because I've always told myself, if you fall over, you get back up. Because no one, like, people might come and help you, but then they'll go off and live their own lives. No one ain't gonna be there with you 24-7. You don't need no one. I don't need no one there 24-7. As long as I got this. 24-7, no, I didn't care about anything else. You know what I mean? I said this before and I say it again. 
as long as I got myself, I don't need to worry about anybody else. Now, um, what I want to tell you, yeah, basically, um, when I was diagnosed in 2008, I made a song called Weak, um, where basically, I was smoking, I smoked a spliff in a video, and like, I'm talking about how MS is affecting me and everything. And that, uh, yummy, so check the video out. video a week um one thing that i liked about that was um the spliff when dashing and ash shooting the spliff stun yeah um but in that song i'm talking about like how it is for me because when like i was saying when i was smoking bare weed like it like it said in the song when the drugs are done i feel like dying and that's how it was at the time i've tried committing suicide didn't work because I'm still here. <laughs> but um, I've tried committing suicide, I've tried doing bare madness. But over time, I just thought it's stupidness. And like, then I turned around and started achieving an education, started doing things for myself, I've got my own yard, doing my own thing or whatever. At the end of the day, it's still life is life. I'm thankful for everyone and everything that's happened out there. But now, this is me, you hear me? My dream was to be on stage and I'm glad that I've achieved my dream. I'm, a, I'm 25 now, but when I wasn't 25, I was still doing me, you hear me? But I started to think about this, check this. I've been up on stage where I've tried to make a change in the space of a day, but it never seems to stay, because we're living in a day where people never pray, because the cash be the way to lead you all astray. I'm talking from the past, because I used to do with how it is. My foes and my friends always try to take the piss. I always turn away, because I've learned to try to take the piss. But in my life, and saying that I did this shit, I sit and look at life and talking in pretense from the present to the future, all seems to make sense. Jamming on my ones, I always feel like these friends, common man and backstabbers, and people 
never be there. So why should I care if people want to fear? Well, they don't understand, like a straight man turning queer. People love to talk because they go on what they hear. So I have to tell the truth when the music's in your ear. You know what I mean? So, um, well, I mean, as I said before, I went to a union a faraway place. I went to Star Bank University. It was all right. Like, it was a bit far, though, man, anything in Castle, yeah. I was going down there, studying, I made a couple of friends there, done something, tried to join the student union, but they weren't really on it, so I was like, forget it, yeah. Me. Moved on, man, come to London Met. I come to London Met, I've been here three years, you know me? And um, I've got to know staff, got to know a couple of students, or whatever, and everything's cool. Like, they don't, nobody knows the full extent of me. And, like, in a way I like it like that, but I'm telling you now, but in, my, in this university, it's so wicked. I knew stuff from my undergraduate office, I knew stuff in the tower building. I look, I've been everywhere. I was even made the delegate of this building, you hear me? I had my own office, I was working with the student union. I was doing the thing, you hear me? Like, I was just trying to keep it real. And then still, I'm still real now, like, with the, um, with my university, like, going to a library, like, jamming in computer room, going on the internet. Just dating foreign media equipment, <laughs> it's sick. And what I love now is that I'm in university, I've got my own yard, and I'm doing everything I want to do. So I live my dream before I hit 25, but now I'm carrying it on. Hi. Um, yeah. This song, this song is so high. When I found the beat for this, I fell in love with the beat. Like, I feel alive, especially with music, man. Music makes me feel alive. I wrote this track to express how I feel, because I feel so alive. I'm flying so high, man. Check this beat out, like, bust that thing. Check it. Yo, yo, it's a Kaz, man, blood. Yo. And it's real, and we do this thing, check it out. I'm flying so high, oh yeah, that's right. I'm feeling so alive, so what we on tonight? Man sitting back and I'm jamming in the flat. I'm writing some of my rhymes and laying down the tracks. This is what I do, cause I'm spitting every day. I'm ripping for myself, cause I ain't going through the face. I got the mic in one hand and I'm feeling so great. Writing sissy bars, producing it, cause it sounds like never made the beat, but I'm trying to sound unique. Saying what I feel and speaking what I see. They say their life is real, so why am I singing fakes? People chatting shit, but I ain't never pulling breaks. I don't clock, stop sign, cause it don't look fine. Just think to myself, what's the next hook line? Cause when I spit a bar, I'm saying what is true. It will work for me, but I don't think for you, cause I'm flying so high. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm feeling so alive, so what we have to say? Man's in university, I'm 
doing what I'm doing. Musical poetry, as well as studying digital media. I'm perfect proof that you can do it too. Anything you set your mind to, you can do it. Don't let that stop you. Don't let no one stop you. Just believe in achieving what you believe. Bless.